Hello and welcome everyone to episode number 22 of the NASCAR U5 career mode. And today we go to Michigan for the 400, uh, 400. Here are 10 guys that are locked to the playoffs. Those 10 guys are Truex, Hamlin, Kurt, Kyle Busch, Rakowski, me, Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, William Byron, all with wins. And here are the rest of the guys trying to make it in on points here, which pretty much they probably will here, but William Byron did get his first career win in the last episode at New Hampshire. Let's get ready, in fact, for Michigan. Now we get ready for Michigan here. It's the last stop we go to Michigan this year in the season for that. And the meanwhile, coming to the green flag here in Michigan. We start 11. Brad Kozlowski leads them to the green flag. We're racing here at Michigan. Fast forward now to the end of stage one as there's a caution to end it. Stage one was not very eventful, but Kyle Busch does get the stage win here. Um, he hasn't won a race since Dover, so yeah, he's on a long winless streak now as we, um, you can see now they're pitting, and I do decide to pit here. Um, as we do come to the start of stage two here at uh, Michigan, we got some shockers running up there, like Matt Kenseth is up there, I believe. My Newman, who actually won. Well, the first Michigan race has Brad Kozlowski decides to put me into the wall. And guess what? I am not happy about that. And I decide to give him a little retaliation as he continues to put me in the wall. And this is pretty much, I'm not happy with him as you guys can clearly see us running down all the way to the bottom of the track here. Um, but on the back stretch here. Um, I let him go now, and I have to try to slow down Kurt Busch so I can get that back up because last key as around goes Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch spins um, on the back stretch here at Michigan to bring out the first incident of the day. Here we go now, lap four on stage two, and around goes Kurt Busch again. He spins out. That's going to end the stage early, and now let Kyle Busch get his second consecutive stage win. Now as Matt Kenseth finished second, Eric Allen rolls up there, can one of them win here at Michigan. No one decides to pick because that stage was so short, so many cautions. Uh, but now we do come to the final stage here. Like I said, Kyle Busch has a one since Dover. Can he get his fourth win of the season here at Michigan? Right now, the final stage is underway now as we now just have 11 to go. Bowman puts me into the wall. We're told to go. Bowman puts me into the wall there. I am still not happy with that. I am not putting up with anyone's crap today. As I am just furious with everybody. Kurt Busch is going to put the bumper to the back of me. He's gonna actually going to push me. He's actually one of my draft partners. Which I do not know why I had them on for the other tracks. But oh well. And I did say I was not going to do commentary for these races. Well I'm deciding I just am. To just keep the consistency on this. But you guys can see the battle for lead. Between Kyle Busch, Kenseth, and Eric Almola. Eric Almola would actually take the lead on the bottom lane there. Right in front of us as me and Kurt Busch are just battling here for the seventh place. Now I believe Eric Almarola is going to lead this lap. Eric Almarola could get his third career win here at Michigan. He hasn't won a race since Talladega in the fall of 2018. As right now me and Kurt Busch are just still battling. Look at the run I get on the bottom line. I get past, past uh, Kurt Busch and Joey Logano to get up to the sixth position. Hamlin's going to go high. Kyle Busch goes really high which I'm thinking is really messing him up. I did tap the wall a little bit there. To let Joey Logano to the little bit of my back bumper. Look at that. Matt Kenseth will try to take the lead here. They go Hamlin and Almiron will go three wide there. And look at that. Hamlin got actually loose last time. He won a race. He actually spun. Then he won. That was at Kentucky. Oh, man. Here they come. Right now, there's 10 laps to go here from Michigan. This is one insane Michigan race. As right now, who will try to get the win here? Corn try to get a second win of the season and it would be his first two win season since 2016 it's been four years since that ha has happened Kurt Busch is right behind me on my back bumper Kurt Busch trying to get around me I block him he's going to try to pass me for fifth place still winless this year um, unlike his teammate Matt Kenseth but she's probably going to get in the playoffs on points um, if I want to be mistaken here which that episode should be coming up very quickly But now, we will be coming just nine laps to go now. Oh, Kurt Busch up high, and the caution does come out for an incident. I believe some blew an engine, but Matt Kenseth is out front right now. 
Michigan was back in 2015, if I was not being mistaken. Yes, he did. And it was the second Michigan race, so can he do that? And it'll be Chip Ganassi's fourth win at Michigan. With Kyle Larson winning three in a row. Can Matt Kenseth win? As I am actually going to go to that car next season after Matt Kenseth is retiring. I'm going to go there for the rest of my career, like I said. To retire, I'll retire there. And then who knows what I'll do after I retire. Um, probably the end of the NASCAR 85 career mode or something like that. Maybe start a team. But anyway, coming to the green flag right now. Kenseth is just going to lead us with just six to go now. From Michigan. Actually, um, my team actually probably messed up that pit stop. That's why I'm back here in 23rd position right now. Oh, Ryan Priest is running me really well. As now I actually go to the apron here. They actually make up a bunch of spots here. You got a lot of guys back here like Bubba Wallace running in 20th. Tyler Reddick. Not really good um, runs for them now as... Matt Kenseth continues to lead here at Michigan. He won at Indianapolis. Um, by the way, um, that's what it says back in victory lane or win the streak over. It actually wasn't me winning, which I'm pretty sure a lot of fans were mad about that. But Jimmy Johnson goes into the wall. Now will actually bring out the caution here, um, here at Michigan. Um, as Jimmy Johnson does go into the wall there, Kenseth is still the leader in the set 42. I think that's pretty first time I said his name probably right or pronounced it right at least but now um, we are in the 18th position at the time of caution Kevin Roderick my teammates come below me that's why the reason why I'm leaving because he's one of my rivals Kurt Busch is one of my rivals too but Chico Nasty likes winners and I am a winner in the Cup Series only two times Hamlin's actually a leader here with just two to go can he win at Michigan to get a fourth win he's really having a strong one to run here in the summer races, basically, in the summer months. Um, like, he had a slow, he just couldn't get the win in the spring, maybe that can stop in the fall, which the first fall race, um, would technically, would be Bristol, as, oh no, that's into the wall again! Oh man, he ain't gonna be happy with me about that. Tempers are flaring. As we do have NASCAR overtime here, coming to this, the two to go mark here from Michigan for Denny Hamlin. Green flags in the air, we're racing back here from Michigan to bring us some overtime racing, overtime action here. Hamlin is trying to get the win here at Michigan. Good restart for him there, I actually, I get a kind of a bad restart. You guys can see there in the distance. Kenseth is following in his track, so if Hamlin makes one mistake or move, makes the wrong move, hey, um, Kenseth can get past him, and Kenseth can actually get the win here. Um, but we have to see about that. That's Christopher Bell is right now behind me. Look at the run I get here. As I get around them, Austin Dillon's doing well here. Chase Elliott's in 13th. Still hasn't won this season. We go to Watkins Glen next race, so maybe you can win that race. But now, the white flag is out for Denny Hamlin. White flag is out here from Michigan. Trying to get the win as we just cracked the top 10. We just, I just moved into 10th place. Bunch of side-by-side -side racing here. Here's my um, onboard camera now. Hamlin trying to get his fourth win of the season. And try to get his 42nd career win, I believe. He won the Coke 600, he won Kansas, he won Kentucky. There goes Trex around. Trex is going to go around and the caution won't come out. And then it's going to be uh, Denny Hamlin's fourth win this season. Denny Hamlin wins at Michigan for the fourth time this year, adding Michigan on to the wins list this year. He won now at Charlotte, Kansas, Kentucky, and now Michigan. A championship favorite right here. Um, as no one has actually reached the five win mark, if he does win one more time, at least one more time this season, he'll actually be the all-time wins leader, which he's actually um, currently right now in the number one seed in the playoffs, as I'm actually the fifth seed in the playoffs. As you're already finishing the results, the uh, caution didn't come out for Joey Gase. He is probably not going to make the playoffs with bad finishes a lot lately. Um, but anyway, um, here's our payout for this race. 
a lot of money, not even 300,000, usually I get around 300,000 um, in these races, but oh well, I'll take it. As I do have enough money to at least start a cup team one time. Now, I still have two wins, Braxowski three. Uh, Martrex Jr. and Denny Hamlin have most wins this season. Martrex Jr. actually hasn't won in a long time. So, I wonder when he'll get the win. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next episode. And peace.